Larry Cohea has been disinvited from the Origins Game Fair, which is a little bit odd. He's a pretty popular author. He's written some books for Iron Kingdoms, which is a tabletop war game and, and role-playing game. So he's written some tie-in fiction for that. He seems like a good fit for a games and hobby convention, but he's been disinvited. We don't exactly know why, but apparently it's something to do with not fitting the philosophy or something of Origins. You're a games fair. What philosophy can you have other than games are fun? Now, he doesn't seem to really know why he hasn't been talked to. There are some vague accusations of racism, sexism and so on with nothing to back them up. Uh, the, the Sad Puppies has been mentioned. He was one of the original Sad Puppies along with Brad Torgerson, I think. I've been in streams with at least one of these men uh, discussing similar problems in the past and while Larry is more conservative than I am, he's certainly more on the libertarian side of conservatism. I mean, I'm not conservative at all, so <laughs> most people seem a bit to the right to me. But Larry seemed perfectly agreeable. Apparently, according to his wiki page, he's a Mormon, or was. I don't know whether he still is. That may factor into it, as it did with Orson Scott Card. But yes, he has been disinvited over philosophical differences, whatever they might be. The sad puppies have been brought up, accusations, as I say, of racism, sexism, and so forth have been brought up and this wonderful vague phrase of unsafe he will make people feel unsafe he will apparently make people of color feel unsafe trans people feel unsafe and homosexual people feel unsafe whatever that means it seems a little vague of a thing to to punish people for i don't really understand what's going on here and now the commentary i'm not exactly sure how Larry can make anyone feel unsafe. I mean, he seems like a fairly big, broad-shouldered dude. Maybe he has a fairly intimidating physical presence. He has a lot of pictures of him with guns, but it's the States. That's not unusual. He does look a bit like Captain Spaulding, so I could understand if you have a fear of clowns that he might be a problem. Howdy, folks! Got blood, violence, freaks of nature? Well then, come on down to Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. This whole affair smells a little bit fishy. Several of the ringleaders that have gone after Larry appear to be people who have personal beef with him for one reason or another, or have written articles condemning shows and so on for being too white and too male. Larry, as you might be able to guess from the last name, is part Portuguese, apparently, I guess that doesn't count today uh, for him being a person of colour, partially. I, I, I don't know. I'm hard pressed to think of any way in which someone's views can make an event unsafe, unless that view is you all need to die and they have a bomb or a gun or something. Other than that, his views shouldn't be open. The philosophy of gaming, of fandom as a whole, always used to be all are welcome, we share the hobby, you know, or, or an appreciation of the genre, and that all seems to have been pushed aside. This seems, if this is the paradox of tolerance, it's pushing it way past any justifiable extreme. People are allowed to hold views that you don't disagree with. I am certain there is plenty that I disagree with Larry on, but he has a right to hold those views. And tactically speaking, if I want to encourage him to think differently, if I want him to encounter people who he might disagree with or might have religious or political viewpoints that are in conflict with, how is isolating and pushing him away going to help? How is this going to appear to his fans? How is it going to appear to him? The Sad Puppies kicked off because there was a perceived, whether you believe it or not, bias in the kinds of books that were getting awards. That they were exclusively left-wing, that they were exclusively <sighs> pseudo-literary, had 
aspirations and pretensions above and beyond the genre. So, and whether you agree with that or not, it did certainly seem that there was a problem when, when you kind of crunched the numbers on the awards, though there's been argument about it. And The Puppies was an attempt to shift that, to remove that bias or to underline and expose that bias, which to a lot of people it did. And victimising and excluding people in that instance only gave them more support, made the Hugo Awards less and less relevant and meaningful and allowed things like the Dragon Awards to, to pop up in their stead. So what do you think is going to happen here? Is it going to challenge anyone's viewpoints? Is it going to change anyone's mind? Is it going to change Larry's mind from these views that you have apparently projected onto him because he rejects these claims? Purely tactically, it looks bad and stupid, and it lends fuel to the fire of this idea that he and his fans have, and other people on the, the, the puppy side of things have, that they are being excluded, that they are being targeted politically to be kept out of fandom, of hobbies, and so on. And poor old Larry's son. He wanted to go there and play lots of games. I'm sure there were lots of people that wanted to meet Larry and you've excluded him on what? Uh, a misunderstanding of the reasoning behind the whole Sad Puppies movement. The feeling that people were being excluded but you've taken it to be against diverse authors and so on which isn't really the case at all. So it's it's lie upon lie and nobody questions any of the lies up the chain to this idea that Larry will make people unsafe. It's an own goal and that's as charitable as a spin I can put on it. Again, I am way on the left but I think people have a right to disagree with me and I don't think I can change their mind if I exclude them and I never talk to them or I'm around them. Yeah, you know, and there's a possibility they might change my mind on some things too. And I wouldn't want to deny, to deny myself that opportunity either. Well, sorry this happened, Larry. Origins, you're done goofed. Can we try and change these things? And can we make our philosophy one of inclusion, even for people we disagree with? Even for people who disagree with inclusion? Zang. Carl, friend, and welcome to Gore. Savage and beautiful, John Norman's Gorean saga is brought to life in the Tales of Gore role-playing game and its companion world book, World of Gore. Take flight on a tarn, luxuriate in the bathhouses of Ar, pit your steel against the deadly Kuri, best your enemies and place them in your collar. Tales of Gore uses the D6 system, perfect for both new and old players. You can purchase it from Amazon, RPG Now, or Lulu.com. Ta Sada Gore. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I guess I'll go eat worms. Long, thin, slimy ones, short, fat, juicy ones, itsy bitsy, fuzzy, wuzzy worms. Cause nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. That's when I'll.